Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your general love reading for the third week of December. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Friend of Mine by Kelly Price, Ron Isley, and R. Kelly. Now, you have three signs. You have Aries, Gemini, and Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus could apply to your situation. This also could be time frames. As far as Capricorn, you guys know Capricorn season is coming towards the end of December, um, early to mid-January. So something could be being discovered if that's not the case already. Now, you know, in that song, she says she was a friend of mine. Um, she used what I had. She lied. She, te she lied. She cheated. And I know I'm messing up those lyrics somehow, but that's what I tell you guys all the time. That's why I give you the um the songs. Again, the name of the song is Friend of Mine by Kelly Price. Look into it because uh, that's just what I'm hearing. It's like somebody was using your resources or you may have found out that this person was using you to get close to someone significant. It doesn't have to be your partner. It could be someone that you warned them about or just using you for clout, if you will. I'm, I'm getting something with that as well. But in that song, friend of mine, she was talking about how she helped this friend out. This friend was out in the streets, was going through, you know, extreme hardships. And this person was being a friend and took this individual in and then found out that this friend, okay, was sleeping with her, her man. Now, this does not have to be, it doesn't have, your situation doesn't have to be that salacious and so full of drama. It could just be, like I said, feeling like you have been used by someone that you have been given support and love to, and they took it for granted, and somehow it's affected you in a negative way. Now, again, it doesn't have to be something so deep as though somebody was sleeping with your partner. It could have been something like you found out this person was flirting with your partner or talking to your partner behind your back. That is also still a deception, because I'm seeing a seven of swords. Seven of swords is light, cheat, and manipulate, sneak, conniver. That's still a deception because why you, whatever you said behind my back, why, why was this not said in my face? It's like this person may have a relationship with someone that you're dealing with or someone that you're interested in and, and they're hiding that. It's some type of deceit. I'm definitely getting some type of deceit here for sure. And I, I heard when I was meditating, killing two birds with one stone. In other words, like that stone is like, you know how you throw something at a glass, it's going to break it. Like you're going to shatter the illusion that something is being, like some type of illusion is being perpetuated or it's, again, I'm getting deceit. There's some deceit here and I feel like two people are involved and I feel like that stone is your proof. Like all that evidence, you're going to be breaking down that veil that two people are trying to keep up in regards to you in a situation. Again, it does not have to be that this is your love interest. It could just be involving someone, like two people that you know or who are affiliated because of you. And it's things that are going on behind your back in regards to those individuals, okay? Now, I also want to talk about this really, really quick. Um, Don't forget, you guys, I do sell the Organite Pucks and the jewelry and things like that on my Etsy shop. Um, And that'll be perfect for the holiday season so just put i'm just putting it out there because i know you guys are into your energy tools and your family and friends and stuff like that if you order this stuff soon it will be there in time for christmas or new year's and things like that okay so let's go ahead and change the cards from the top to the bottom of the deck we're gonna go through the deck until we get your major arcana which happens to be the hierophant okay and we'll get the cards that come before and the card that comes after and we'll get clarifiers for those cards currently at the bottom of the deck the king of wands see this is making me, I really strongly feel like there's some sneakiness here, okay? Some sneakiness here. Someone could be born in the year of the dragon. Someone's first, middle, or last initial could be K, G, O, F, W, D, or S. Again, K, G, O, F, W, D, or S. I just heard Dwayne. I heard Miles. And Mills, okay? So, with this King of Wands, you'll be dealing with a Leo Sag Aries. But more than anything, the King of Wands is someone who's very charismatic, very charming. This person wants what they want. And they could be entertaining you and someone else. Or it's like this, if you really look at this person, it's like this person could be manipulative. Really look at him. Somebody could have an air of manipulation about them, okay? So, let's go ahead and shuffle. Now, I definitely feel like a male figure, for sure, for a lot of you all. Is doing this, like, you know... This person is playing a role. Two of Wands need to choose a destination or a direction to go in. You may have to make a choice when you find out some when you find out some type of information because a lot of you guys are gonna find something out for sure. Okay. One more shuffle. I 
So like you guys want to make a decision to be single, not a pinnacle, single woman, single man, pinnacles, that is you, male or female, okay? Somebody's choosing peace. She's out there in peace. Somebody's choosing peace over being in pieces, okay? With her heart being broken into pieces. I keep seeing broken glass. Somebody may actually break a glass or bust a window. I, I, I'm, I am getting chaos. I'm not going to lie. And again, that won't apply to everyone. I'm just putting it out there. So we want the hair font and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Hair font. Okay, there you go. I almost slid past it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So right in front of you. You have the Knight of Cups, your prince and princess, shining armor, somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet. Could be done with a water sign, cast by Scorpio. There's your energy, and then you have the Four of Cups. So there could be a third party that's a water sign. Five of Pentacles, lack, loss, abandonment, being left out in the cold. Again, you are Pentacles. And then look what's peeking up right here, the very last card. That was Shirley and Barbara, woman to woman. I'm telling y'all, some of you guys, okay, let me tell you something. You got the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and then the Ten of Cups. Some of you guys, a third party could be a water sign. Again, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. You also could have found out about something in Scorpio season, specifically around October. Um, You felt like this person betrayed you. There's some type of betrayal. Again, even if this person did not cheat, it's like the omission that is doing it for you or the finding out about it. Because some of you guys may find out about it. Because look, this is like the tea is getting ready to be spilled. That book is open. That book has intel, information, data. So somebody's going to find something out. I feel like you are because here on the table, you're walking right towards it. You're going to find something out. Also, I'm going to say this because it's coming. You're going in that direction. It, this also could be you, you know, giving that cup to a friend, specifically a water sign, letting them know like, okay, I found out this, that, and the third. I, I You know, I bumped into your person out and about and I seen them with someone else. You know, a, again, this is a love reading but it may not just be about you. It may be something that you witness. And you see how you're sitting down pondering something. You may be wondering, like, should I address this? Should I say something or should I not get involved? Also, I'm getting something where somebody's partner may be flirting with you. I just heard that also. Somebody's partner is a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, and they're flirting with you. And your friend may be a water sign. Just, again, this won't apply to everyone, but put it where it applies now. Bottom of the deck, shit. Hello? Hello, Tower, Scorpio, Aries. I can't make this up. I did say somebody's, somebody's partner could be a fire sign, Aries. And I did mention with the Ten of Cups, something could have happened in Scorpio season. Somebody's partner may have hit on you in Scorpio season or your partner may hit on someone in Scorpio season and they didn't tell you and now they may be getting ready to tell you. Could be telling you something on a day that has a four in it, the 4th, the 14th, or the 24th. For some of you guys, it'll be within the next four days or four days after this coming, this up and coming full moon for um, December. It's part of the deck. Hmm. Hermit, seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. You're going to find something out. Something is going to come to the light. A star, something is going to come to the light. Somebody's being guided to bring something to the light. Virgo energy. Oh, you got two major arcanas here. This is definite stuff, y'all. Definite stuff is coming out. You get major arcanas, that is for sure. Somebody is left in the dark about something. The Eight of Swords, mental imprisonment. Tower reverse. So I'm going to tell you, she's facing the tower, but she's, you know... The towers in reverse. It's almost like somebody knows, but they, they're not admitting it because they know like, okay, I can't afford to take care of these bills by myself. I can't afford to live on my own. I need a second income. And then I, I just want you guys to see, so you can see I'm not doing anything to cars right up under it. You got the three of cups. So somebody knows it. Oh, shit, man. Somebody knows it's a third party. You got the three women here with a mask. I always tell you guys, mask is something hidden, some disguise. Right up under that, you got the eight of cups. And there's one, two, three cups spilt over of the eight. You have that three of cups right here. I'm going to say again, there's a water sign involved. I feel like the water sign is like the central focus in some situation here. Either this person's a third party or this is your friend or your partner. Some, there's a water sign involved. Very strong. Something going to come to the light. I'm not making this up now. <laughs> you got Leo here with the sun. Whatever, whenever the sun comes up, a random day starts and then the sun shines light on everything and all. Whatever was hidden, it is coming to the light. Okay. And I also did say that somebody's partner could be a fire sign. You got Leo here. That's going to clarify for the Knight of Cups. Somebody could be a Cancer Leo Cusp. I'm getting that also because you got a lot of water here. Shit. I'm trying to tell y'all. Look at this. Somebody dealing with a fire sign. Okay, you got the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Um, Some of you guys, I feel like you all could have a Leo Sag or Aries rising. Also, if this is you. 
And I'm saying rising because you see how his hat right here, the feathers look like flames. And it's on top of his head. And then he has a um a thing on or a wrap on top of his head. So somebody could be a, a fire sign rising. And you know, fire signs, this is not to be shady, but fire signs could be known to be wrapped up in their ego. So this is like somebody could be hurt. He's hurt. He's wounded. Someone could be hurt after finding out about something because something's going to get told. That cup that's being extended, somebody's being told about something that's going on behind the scenes. Tower. Let's get a clarify for the Four of Cups. Clarify for the Four of Cups. For Taurus, Summer Rising, Venus, and the Visuals. Clarify it for the Four of Cups. Okay. And look what flipped up. Hmm. Something comes to light. I just said that, didn't I? Will of Fortune is for is fortune is fated and destined for this to come to light. Eight of Swords, because somebody doesn't see what's going on. And I'm going to say this again. Hello. Y'all looking at it, right? And I just want to show you guys. Nothing else flipped up here. Nothing else flipped up. Those cards flipped up. So something's coming to the light. That's why that cup is being extended. That cup is not from, you know, actual persons coming from the universe. But I feel like the universe is putting it on somebody's heart. Like somebody got to address something. Somebody got to tell it like it is. Something's going to come out. And remember I was saying something with four. If you notice, there's one, two, three, and then there's this little thing in between, but there's a fourth sunflower. Something with a four in it. Again, the fourth, 14, 24. If someone, someone could be a life path or a personal year four. Somebody's birthday could be in March. Because Taurus, you know, Taurus season does, I'm not March, but um, April. Four is April. Someone's birthday could be in April. Four. You could be an April Taurus. Whatever the case, something's coming out, okay? You got here in this card, you got your energy, right? You got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. You got Leo here, and of course, you are Taurus. Some some of you guys could definitely have a fire sign rising. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign person, and there's definitely a water sign that's in the middle of everything for a lot of you all. Because I did say you had a tower earlier, that's Scorpio, and then you have Scorpio in this card as well. So, strong Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, I'm getting Aries also. Cancer Scorpio definitely for the water signs. But whatever the case, you're going to find something out. I'm telling you right now, you're going to find something out, something that was, that was keeping you in the dark. You're going to find out. You're going to find out the truth about it. And, I, you know, going back to with the song that I told you guys, I heard a friend of mine, Kelly Price. And remember in the beginning we had in this deck the Ten of Cups. Those are two women, two friends sitting there talking. I'm telling you, I feel like this is somebody who is involved in somebody's relationship in a way that they're not saying. They're, they're acting like a mediator or a friend between two people. But really, it's something more. Like, even if this person isn't hitting on your partner or your love interest, they may know that your partner or love interest has a crush on them or is flirting with them or something like that, and they're not telling you about it. Like, they're keeping you in the dark. Something, whatever it is, I feel like it's messy. I feel like it's messy. You know, that's what I'm getting overall here. But again, you're going to find out all the details about it. Again, the sun, bringing it to light, and that's major arcana, so it's definite. So you're definitely going to find out about it for sure. Could even be a fire sign person who tells you about it. If you have a fire sign, specifically a Leo child, you have, you may have a Leo child that, that says something like, Mom, so-and-so is at the house with daddy, or so-and-so is at the house with mom. And you're like, why would they be with my person? And I didn't know anything about it. Like, you know, children will tell everything. <laughs> They'll tell everything but on themselves, okay? Children will tell you everything. And don't even know they're doing that. You know, especially a young child. Like, children between the ages of two and six, I typically see two and six, they will tell everything, everything. And they don't feel like they're wrong because they don't they don't have that moral compass that we have as far as things. So, somebody may have a child between the ages of two and six. And somebody, you know, it could be for someone. Again, it won't apply to everyone. Even a grandchild. Just put it where it applies. But whatever case, something comes to light. You're going to find out the truth about something for sure. Okay? So, Taurus, Summer Rising and Venus Individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.